Hello, welcome to my four tips, lifestyle tips on how to get yourself out of back pain and also four exercises to do not just in the morning but also in the evening and I'll tell you why. So that is the first lifestyle tip. Many people think wake up with a tight sore back, do your stretching and releasing then. However, listen carefully, go to bed tight, you wake up tighter. So if you put the energy in to doing five or 10 minutes of just a few simple releases of where you've tensed up during the day due to lifestyle habits, then you wake up already ahead of your game. So number one. Now number two, I find so many of my clients miss the most important part of having a healthy spine. So your vertebrates are down from your neck down to your lower back and in between you have your discs. Now the discs are made up of fluid. So for that to happen, your body has to have enough hydration. So we don't come down to whether we like water or not. It's essential. It's essential if you have back pain. It's essential as you age. It's essential for all your major organs. So if the major organs can't find what they need in your daily hydration, your body will look after itself and go still from wherever it can find water. Hence, the discs in your spine become dehydrated. So your vertebrates become more congested. So that's that tight and you can't lift your arm and everything is just so sore and tight. It's like running your car with no water. It doesn't work. So hydration, 80 kilos is four liters. 60 kilos, three liters. 100 kilos, five liters. You get the picture. That is your number one lifestyle skill to bring into your daily life. So number four is notice your habits. So your habits are where you sit, where you work, where you sleep, and your positioning. So especially as we age or after injury or the symptoms of sore back. So sore back often has symptoms before you get to any kind of condition. So listen to the symptoms. So if you're at work and you're always finding at work at the desk that you're getting tight and sore, take the time out to do a few rotations at your desk and lengthening of all the muscles down your spine. How long did that take? Not long. If you can, invest in a Swiss ball. Spend half your day on the Swiss ball. Even bouncing on the Swiss ball sends synovial fluid through your spine, makes you sit up straight whilst you'd fall. So that is why you must have your feet in line with your hips, not wide, creating stability, because then we're not using our abs and back. So bring them in, feet straight, knees through, and try this. So if you've got a home workout in these crazy times, best time is just to invest in a Swiss ball. Hit me up if you need one. If you're in Australia or New Zealand, I can get one shipped to you, because you really want a premium ball. You don't want the cheap balls. They lose shape, they pop and can cause injury, and they just don't have the qualities of a Jura ball, which keep it straight. I've had my balls for over 10 years, and they last and last and last. You also must have the right size ball. So if you're over six foot, you need a 75 centimeter, and if you're between five and six foot, maybe five, five, you need a 65 centimeter. And if you have you shorter ones, just get a 45 centimeter. Secret rule is the knees are slightly below the hip. Okay, so there's your four, four lifestyle hips. Let's get busy now. Now I'm gonna give you four beautiful releases for your back, which is lower and upper back. Predominantly we have lower back pain, but often that is created from upper back slouching and weakness. So the upper will affect the lower, and the lower will affect the upper. So let's get busy with four just really simple exercises that will test, stretch, release you. Morning and night, guys. Let's get busy. So we're gonna start on our feet. And the first thing you're gonna do is create that length. So breath in, a big reach up with your thumbs facing backwards and put a little tiny arch in your back, even if it's a bit niggly. And then take the time to hold that. Keeping the length and all those muscles waking up 
And if you notice your arms, you can still see that is showing that you have very tight lats. So then once you've got that length, just slightly over to the right. Nothing too intense. And notice where you're holding the most pain. Back into centre and over to the left. Now normally the right side is your dominant side if you're right-handed and will be tighter. Left will be in pain because it's weaker and become tighter to hold you. So breath and go back into that beautiful baby back bend. Now if you're feeling a bit gnarly, don't worry. We're going to bend the knees, bring the arms down. So just bend softly. Put your hands onto your legs and just take your journey. Drop your hip, tuck in, roll down. So roll back up. So you're creating the segmentation of your spine. Pull it into your belly, sit back into your heels, not going into the knees. So carefully send your hips back, pull up into your belly to support your lower back. Then come down in each one, drop just a little bit more. Breath in and this is all you can do to start with. You stay here, keeping your feet straight at all times and your weight is in your heels without clawing your toes. If you're feeling good, breath in. Halt, go back into the bent knee so you don't lose your back. Drop your head, roll your way back down, sweep your arms, exhale, sweep back up into that back bend. Breath in, pull into your belly, drop your head, roll your way down. Keep the knees soft so you use your butt, not your back. And come back up. Breath in, the first couple can be gnarly, and you just work with it. Listening, but not giving in, knowing that what you're doing is beneficial. Tuck in and exhale, come back through. Inhale, coming back up. Beautiful. That's all we're going to do. Breath and bringing your arms down. Now, what I want you to do is just take your right foot behind your left foot. Put your left hand on your left hip and then take your right arm over, pushing your hip. You're going to feel this right down the right side of your body into all the attachments in your hip and also possibly in a leg as well. Make sure the arm stays long, straight and diagonal, not floppy. Exhale, reaching out. Now you can do this three times on each side. Use your breath, exhale, because the exhale helps you to release. Inhale, come back and exhale, over. And inhale, coming back. So of course we do the other side, and cross, taking the left leg behind. <sighs> Take the left hand onto your <clears throat> hip. Sorry, right hand. And then taking your left one over in a big reach. Inhale, coming back. Exhale, over. Just listen to your body and be super patient. And if you do this morning and night, you're going to see massive results. And coming back down. Beautiful. Uncross the legs. Now staying with the same exercise, but taking it wider. So breath in. Stepping forward with the right leg. Your back foot, turn the heel out like a geek. So you turn the left heel out, place it down, hold it, right hand on the right hip, push the hip a little bit and take that left arm over. This is just progressing the previous one and just hold, hold. You'll be tested in stability but that's all good as well because that is bringing in your local system muscles around your joints. And release slowly, pick up the back foot and step back. Okay, big step forward with the left leg. <clears throat> left foot straight, right heel, kick out to the side. Hold it there. Breath in, taking the right arm over. Push on your left hip and take a big stretch over. Keep your eye gaze centered. That'll give you more control. Always remember to exhale into your health stretches. And come back. I'm just going to step to the front of my mat now, pull into your belly, 
or roll your way back down again and come back down onto your knees. Take your knees apart, relax through your feet and coming back down onto your mat, into your child pose. Sneak your arms away from you. Have a book or a block in front of you if you can't get the release in your back. And just rest the head or a pillow. Beautiful. Just taking this child pose over to the right now, really reaching out the left hand and pull back into your spine, deep down into the tailbone. Exhale in and pull up in your belly before you move to protect your back and take both arms over to the left. Once you're there, just sneak your right arm a little further. Remember, pull up in your belly before you move. Segment your spine back up into seated. Go ahead and just take a release in the middle, pulling your arms behind your back. So this works all your upper back muscles. And while you're there, just slowly turn your head side to side. Reach right through the fingers. Make sure you can't see your arms. We often have neck tension with upper back pain as well. Beautiful. And now we're just going to come into our final quick release. There's plenty more, but this is a beautiful way just to start your practice of releasing. So just hug around your knees and then come underneath and pull into your belly because you want to strengthen your lower abs, which support your lower back. So if you have a belly and no abdominals, that stress comes on your lower back trying to hold. So just doing a few C curves not only releases those QLs and multipedis, they also strengthen the lower abs, which are your powerhouse abdominals for supporting your spine. Good, so I'm just gonna work on five of these before we take our final back release. And exhale, come back up. And one more breath in. Pulling down. Beautiful. Slowly roll down to the floor. Bring both knees in. Keep your head lifted. And then just take five little circles. Lifting your bottom as you do so. If your abdominals aren't strong enough to hold your neck, put your neck down. And then five the other way. Many people don't have the abdominals, so they find that hard, so just put the head down. Place the feet down. Cross the right leg completely over. Roll the legs to the right and take your head to the left. Pull into your belly to roll back. Uncross your right leg. Cross your left one over, tuck in and exhale over to your left and look to your right. Go back to your breath. Pull up into your belly, back into your centre, uncross the legs. Now to get up, if your back is really tight and sore and your abs aren't strong, Roll to your side to come up and then push your way up. If you're wanting or progressing your practice, all you do is pull the knees in, find a little rock, abs are on, no momentum, breathe up, roll up. So that's your progression. With that said, that is our first session on back exercises, back releases and lifestyle habits. If you enjoyed, please hit subscribe and tell me and I'll put on the next one for you. Have a good day. Namaste.